Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are going to be talking about 10 to 12 ways that you can learn financial literacy in 2025. Let's go. Are you ready? <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Number one, watch your girl budget and savings with B every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> That, that was a shameless plug, okay? I'm not even shame. And also, you can take some online courses. <clears throat> or you can just kind of look around on YouTube and watch my channel, watch some other channels. But if you are definitely, because I know you are here in 2025, so you are looking to take this series. Definitely look into some workshops. You can look on Eventbrite and see what courses you can take. You can also look on Amazon, get some financial books because it is the new year. We are ready to get our finances together, okay? Number two, like I just said, read some finance books. Definitely look at Dave Ramsey, uh, old school Susie Orman, some of your old, old pioneer gurus. <clears throat> look at them, okay? Follow some financial podcasts. Definitely. Okay. <clears throat> excuse, excuse me. <laughs> but definitely spend a lot of time. You know, a lot of times I spend my time watching other content creators. Uh, Dave Ramsey, Graham Stephan, Anthony O'Neill, um, The Budgetista. Who else? I spend a lot of time driving in my car, so I'm watching and listening. And <clears throat> because what it does, it makes you stronger. It gives you more ideas. It gives you strength. It gives you encouragement. Because if you don't have any friends in the financial sector, it is very hard <laughs> to, to navigate this. And a lot of times I have to stop and ask myself, what does my current self want to do or be? Okay, so I don't always think about now budget B. I think about future budget B because in 20 years, budget B will be 60. I just don't see it or feel it, but I will. So I definitely want to think about my future self. Also, I already said this one but watch some financial classes on YouTube. I know I know, I know you finna hit that subscribe button. You finna leave me some comments down below and you, you gonna tune in. I know you are. So I'm not even worried about it. Go, go ahead and hit that button. Smash it like that. Also, you know, you can read the financial news. You know, articles like the Wall Street Journal. You can download the app. So these are all ways that you can, you know, enhance your financial literacy, okay? Follow influential financial experts. Say that twice. <clears throat> so I know that I follow Dave Ramsey and some other big gurus. So definitely follow them just to see what they're doing and how their life, you know, flows on day to day. Participate in webinars. There's lots of free webinars that um, financial gurus, you know, host. I know Anthony O'Neill, I was listening to his podcast. He's here on the YouTube. He was a <clears throat> co-host on Dave, Ram Ray <laughs> Dave Ramsey show years ago. So he has um, his own podcast now. So he has a free webinar coming up pretty soon. I'll put it down in the description box. Engage in online communities. Woo! <clears throat> that is where it's at, y'all. I am in some um, budgeting and savings groups on Facebook. <clears throat> and it's just amazing to see, you know, how everybody is just encouraging each other, how everybody is sticking together and just seeing it once you see it and be in the community it makes it so much easier and so much better 
practice investing. We're like, girl, practice. Yes, because every time you participate in savings and budgeting and stuff like that, you get better and better. Like when I first started, I think my bank account was in the negative. It's about four years ago. It was in the negative when I had purchased. Well, after I purchased all of my binders and all of my stuff, my account was in the negative then. <clears throat> Well, afterwards, because some more bills had come through and I just didn't have enough money. But <clears throat> I knew I was serious. If you start with no money, you know <laughs> you are serious. Especially if you start in the negative, you are serious. So definitely <clears throat> get started. Attend local financial educational events. Like I said earlier, look on Eventbrite and see what events they got going. Because you definitely want to establish, you know, those partnerships, those friendships, especially in person. Because once you're in that community, you see other like-minded people and it helps you to keep going. It helps you to stay motivated. Last but not least, study your finances. You can do that by either, you have to know what type of person you are some of us like to write everything down a lot of times i'm old school i love pen and paper i'm trying to become new school and get with the digital program but it's just something about that pen to paper that i just love but i do love the digital because um, i do a little bit of both the digital allows you to see like your dashboard it allows you to see the overview it allows you to see the big picture so a lot of times i'll add about Five to 10 minutes, probably not even 10 minutes in my day from scrolling social media to update my finances, look and see what's going on, see if I need to transfer money from this account to that one, and just stay on top of my finances. Just a little bit a day goes a long way. Drop down in the comments what you do to stay on top of your finances. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Bye.